guys, this is Lila from Crafty Twins, and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint this um, witch head with like steam and bubbles coming up from around it. And it's actually not that hard. It's pretty simple. And um, so let's get started. What you'll need is a canvas, and I'm not sure what um, size exactly this is. I think it's 8x10, uh, yeah it is, it's 8x10. An 8x10 canvas, you're gonna need, need, yeah. Well actually you could use whatever size canvas that you have, but um, I'm using an 8x10 canvas cause that's just what I had. <laughs> and you're, you're gonna need, um, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 different colors of paint, actually 9. But, um, I have this left over from the one I made right there. And what you're, the colors that you're going to need is a blue, just a little tiny bit, bit of blue. Um, kind of a lot of black. Some orange. Some yellow. Some purple. And probably a darker purple than that would work better because that's sort of light for like a witch's, um, uh, what's it called? <laughs> hat. I forgot what the name of hat was. Brown for the hair. I got paint all over my hands. A light green and a darker green. Both of them should be pretty dark though. And it's the purple that I tried to cover up that over, but um, probably, like I said, instead of this color purple, do like a dark color like this. And a little bit of white. And hold on, I'm just gonna go wash my hands. Well, I didn't really wash them, but I rinsed them off so the wet paint would come off, so good enough <laughs> it's gonna just get more painty so like I said if I tan canvas um, the paints all these colors and you can just look at them while I'm talking about other stuff if you need to get those out and I'm using acrylic paint because acrylic paint has lots of different colors and watercolor paint won't really stay on that well and you're gonna need a pencil I'm just using a mechanical pencil but you can use a watercolor pencil if you want or a normal pencil or whatever kind of pencil that you have would work and like a different varieties of sizes of paint brushes um, I usually get my note as I go so let's get started first of all I'm gonna start off with my blank canvas and I'm just gonna draw on my witch and this might not look exactly like the first one because I don't know, it's just not going to look exactly the same. So I started off with the top of the head, like this, and then I go into the nose, and witch's noses are pretty pointy, so I made a nice pointy nose. And then I went down for the mouth, and like, just a little bit over, and I was about to, um, make it end there. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see that a little bit better, right here. And I remember last time I tried to like make the chin up there and before I did that I'm just like oh yeah they have a pointy chin so I'm just gonna make a little bit of a pointy chin there and then go right up like that and this one looks a little weird so you can just erase and make and get it until it's how you like and that one looked sort of weird so I just am racing and changing things that I want to make different or make them look a little bit better and so when you put the paint in it's gonna look a little bit different but I think that's good for the face for right now because that's what mine sort of pretty much looked like if you can see the shape of the face right here it's about the same and you might, I'm going to make my chin a little bit pointier because I'm going to make it look a lot, as much as I can like the other one. And I think that looks pretty similar. And that's what I'm hoping for right now. Now I'm going to work on the hair. I'm just going to start going down like this and then make a curve. And move this over so you can see it better and make the curve like this and come up 
well down like that so it looks like this so far and that's what my other one looked like when I was getting started I feel like she should have bangs but I didn't put bangs on the other one so I'm not going to I don't think so now I'm gonna do make the hat and I'm just going to start off with the bottom making like a sort of like an oval shape around the head and then making the point can you all see that i'll move it down a little bit so it looks like that and i have a stripe on mine right here and i also added a little bit pumpkin right here as you can see on this i added a little pumpkin but you don't have to do that but you can if you want to and since i'm gonna try to make them look alike i'll do that and i'm gonna zoom back out so you can see the whole thing not too much okay so i think i hope you guys can all see that and i'm just gonna make the mouth a little bit bigger you can just keep readjusting throughout the video or <laughs> it's throughout the video for me but throughout you making it and i'm just gonna leave it like that for right now and so right here i'm just going to erase this piece of it and make my pumpkin. I'm starting off with sort of an oval circle of shape there and just filling in where it erased but I don't want it to be erased there and then make the triangle eyes. I'm just making this like a simple pumpkin because it's pretty small and a smile and a little stem and so yeah that's good for right now for the pumpkin and I tried to zoom in but then this button popped up so I don't know what to do hold on and I'll ask my mom about that how to get that off the screen there's my little pumpkin 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 pumpkin, pumpkin. okay anyways let's just zoom back out isn't that cool is that so far away now Okay, this is good. Leaving it like this. And it looks like the sun pump just went on. So anyway, back to what I was saying. There's my pumpkin, and the face is pretty much done. And now I'm just going to do the little details, like the wart on it, on her nose, and the eye. And you can probably hear my family members upstairs stomping around on the ground. Um... So I'm just going to start making the eyeball. And I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Hold on. Doop. Zoom. Why won't you zoom? Hold on one sec. There, I zoomed in and it's sort of focused. Pretty, It's pretty focused. But not completely. And I'm going to make the eye about right here. And I... Um... I'm just going to finish the eye. It's not focusing. <laughs> Focus. I had to erase the top eyelid because it wasn't looking too great. So I just re redrew it a little bit. And it doesn't matter if you can still see sort of the pencil line. Like, oops, I just drew. If you can still see put a sort of the pencil line in places because the paint will cover it up it's much stronger than pencil and now I'm just gonna make the circle inside the eyeball and she's gonna be sort of looking down so I'm just gonna make the little pupil right there and now I'm gonna make her eyebrow and it's gonna be really close to her eye like almost on her eyeball so it's gonna be like that and I think on my last one it was out further more like over here like this and my other one she looks more angry don't you see that she looks more angry in this one but I think it will all get better once we put the paint on so I think that's good right now and I might like readjust the eyebrow just a little bit to make it a little bit higher and I'm leaving it like that because I think it looks okay like that and <clears throat> <clears throat> now I'm just gonna put the wart right here on the nose and it's just 
literally a bump on the nose and you can put them some on the face if you want to but I'm just gonna stick with one right there and let's see what else do I have actually I think it's all set to paint already I know it's like that was fast now I'm gonna zoom back out and let's get ready to paint and the first thing I remember doing I did the hair first so I'm just gonna take a brush I think I used let's see I think I used this brush for it. it's a, just a rounded a paintbrush with a rounded tip about probably a centimeter centimeter wide like this and it doesn't really matter what brush you use I'm just gonna put some paint over here put some on there like so just a uh, brown color and just start painting and now you see I'm not gonna go like this and like this and then like this and then like this and then like this and like this you try to keep all your strokes going the same way and it'll look much nicer and like real and I'm just gonna keep I'm gonna do the outline of it first like this just doing the outline and then like in the same strokes and the green is darker than the brown and it'll kind of vary it up if you get some out of the lines and if you get some out of the lines right here the black is much darker is darker than any of the other colors so it will cover that up and just keep your strokes going the same way and eventually it will turn up as nice as you would like it to and there's my hair is done for right now and don't worry the green will cover that piece up where I got around the line a little bit and I'm just gonna wash my brush and you should wash your brush in between every color if you're gonna use the same brush over again or else it will make a color that you don't really want it to be now I'm just gonna use the same brush and you can see it's clean because I washed it and I'm gonna take this dark purple color it's all kind of separated so I'm just gonna mix it together a little bit with this and just get some on there and start painting not the stripe, not the pumpkin, but just the top of this triangle in right here. And I filled in the top using the same technique as I did with the hair. And now I'm just going to fill in this area right here. Now I got the bottom and the top both colored in. No, not colored in, but like painted in. Well, with color, <laughs> I should say. And the next thing I'm going to do is the stripe and this just I'm gonna use the same brush again or you, you can change to a flat brush like this one's flat at the top like this but I think I'm just gonna keep going with the same brush so I'm gonna put yellow on now as you can see in the very corner of the screen and I just dipped my thumb in that purple paint uh, I got some purple on you don't need too much because it's a small area and I got paint all over my fingers now and you just need to put some where that stripe is right there and now I'm going to just wash my brush off and also go wash my hands they're better now, but they're still not that clean because I just rinsed them off. Actually, I didn't even rinse them off. I just wiped down a paper towel so that it's not wet and, like, when I touch my thing, it won't smear paint all over it. Because I don't have a sink down where I am right here. So, now I'm going to get on with my pumpkin. And I'm going to take a smaller brush. Um, this is the size of mine. It's, like, probably half of a centimeter or a quarter of an inch or somewhere around there. And I'm just going to take my orange color. And you don't need too much. I just put a little bit on the brush. I'll put a little bit more. And you just, I'm just dotting 
like I'll zoom in so you can see I'm just dotting it so I don't accidentally get into the eyeballs or um, the mouth anyway and you just dot all around here like so now I'm gonna wash my brush off and get some black paint on it and I'm just dotting it on where the eyes are and this is kind of juicy because I just had some water in there so you might want to dry off your brush a little bit before you start but oh well I think it still looks fine and dot around the mouth and you can reform it with the brush because black is darker than um, the orange and now I'm going to wash my brush off again and then get some green and <laughs> this part's really easy you just dot around you just since it's a flat end I'll zoom in even more since it's a flat end you just dot 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 and just treat just tilt your brush a little bit every single time you make a new dot and it should look like a stem zoom 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 and now I'm going to do the eyebrow and the eye and I'm going to use this brush for that it's it's pretty tiny it's like fat at the bottom and skinnier at the top and um, I'm just going to put, get a little bit of that blue just a little like this like about that much and you probably don't even need that much but you just go around the eye like this and the, of course the sun pump went on again so or actually it's the furnace so I'm just going to pause this and show you when it's done and I just made a little little um, black dot <laughs> Sorry about that little bit of sign language there when it would like like this. It's just because the eyebrow is the same color as the hair. And I'm sorry if I'm doing this really fast. It's just um I only have 20 minutes to take this without it um shutting off. And I'm at 18 minutes already. And so I only have two more minutes. So I'm just trying to do this fast. Now I'm just taking a smaller brush and I'm going to put some black paint on it and just out outline the eyeball. And I'm just putting some green on this flat, tiny flat brush and then doing in the... And make sure you're using your light, lighter color. Now I've done the light green face and now I'm just going to take some of my darker green. And I'm going to put a little bit of it under the eyes. And some to define the wart that I made. Also a little bit under the nose. For shadow and a little bit under here. And a little bit under her whole face just to make it more visible like that now I'm just taking that same brush and I'm gonna put some black on it and outline the whole entire figure now take a big brush and put black paint on it and then do the whole thing around now that you've done that mix some green and white together now put some of that on your brush and start at the bottom and just work your way up doing a bunch of those there now that I've done that now I'm gonna take some white and make just a bunch of circles for both there now I'm pretty much done and I'll just give you a zoom in zoomed in look and then a wider look and I only have um 30 more seconds to talk to you before this runs out of time um but please comment down below and give me suggestions for videos. And please like the, our videos, subscribe, and keep watching them. And I hope you try this and have a um, good time making it. And 
tell me which one if they look if you think they look similar or if you think that they um or which one you like better say first or second in the comments thanks for watching bye